everyone, Jasmine here from Feeling Nifty Painting Tutorials. Today you're going to learn two methods on how to transfer any drawing or picture over onto canvas or any surface of your choice. Now these, both these methods make it super easy to sketch in any drawing or even lettering before painting it in. The best part, zero drawing experience is needed, which I love. The things you're going to need for both of these methods is a simple pencil. Any old pencil will do. I actually borrowed this from my kid's pencil case. Um, you're also going to need a printout or drawing of your picture that you'd like to transfer over. Here I'm using a printout I made on an eight, standard 8.5 by 11 printer paper. Um, and it's a free stencil I created for my beginner sunflower tutorial. If you're interested in that, I'm going to link it in the description below. Finally, you're going to need a surface of choice. Here I'm using a 9 by 12 stretch canvas, which works nicely with a standard 8.5 by 11 printer paper size. An 8 by 10 stretch canvas also works really nicely. But this method also works really nicely on wood panels, ceramic, metal, and even material. The sky is a limit here with, the, with these methods. All right, let's get to it. So one way to transfer this, um, this printable right on your canvas is using something called graphite paper. And I get this from Michaels, it's the Craftsmart brand, but you can use any brand of graphite paper that you find um, in your local store. And what graphite paper is, it's basically just really thin sheets of carbon paper. And one side of the carbon paper is going to be a dark and that's where it's going to transfer onto your surface. And the other side is going to be shiny. So what you want to do is you want to remove your sketch from your canvas and you want to lay the carbon paper or graphite paper uh, dark side down on your canvas. So you're just going to put it down on your canvas and you're going to use some tape to make sure it doesn't move around on you. So I'm just going to make sure it's nice and centered and then I'm going to use some plain scotch tape. I'm just using some scotch tape here and I'm going to be just making sure that it's stuck on my canvas so it does, doesn't move when I'm transferring the drawing. So I'm just going to add a couple of, sh of uh, pieces there so that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my drawing and I'm going to place it where I want the sketch to go on my canvas. So for this purpose we want the sunflower to go on the left side of the canvas so I'm going to try to center it as best as I can. And then I'm also going to add some tape here too, because as you can see here, it's moving around um, on me. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to take some more tape and I'm going to tape this down. The graphite paper actually makes it a little bit more slippery. So taping it down is a really good idea. Put it down there. I'm just going to add another piece below. There we go. So now it's not going to shift on me. So now what you want to do is you want to grab a pencil that has a nice sharp tip so you can sharpen it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take that pencil and we're just going to trace over our design. And at the end, we're going to lift off our carbon paper and you can see the design transferred right on our canvas. With the uh, graphite paper method you don't have to press on the on the canvas too hard with your pencil because the graphite paper will come out pretty easily with just a minimal amount of pressure. There is another method I'm going to show you later on using um, if you don't have access to graphite paper and that one you'll need to apply a little bit heavier pressure on your pencil but for, with the graphite paper method you can just apply a normal pressure and it's going to transfer perfectly. So what I like to do is, it's sometimes hard to remember which ones you've done. Um, so I like to start at the top here, um, corner here, and then I move my way down. That way I know which ones I've already done. So you're just gonna simply trace the petals of your sunflower. And 
the nice thing with working with a printable stencil is you don't have to worry about um, sketching in or getting your proportions right um, when you're painting. Sometimes when you're painting, you just want to have fun and paint and not worry about the drawing portion. So this can really help solve that problem. If you have a nice uh, picture that you want to paint or another stencil, you can transfer that right on your canvas before and then you just enjoy the painting part. And you can actually do this transfer method even with a picture. So let's say you want to do a portrait of uh, some somebody and you have a picture of them. What you can do is you can enlarge that picture and print it out on the dimensions that you're working with on your canvas. And then you can actually just sketch that portrait in um, using the same method. So you'd have your carbon paper on the bottom and then your printed out portrait on the top and you would just uh, um, pencil and the sketch. So it makes it a very easy way to get really easy drawings right on your canvas effortlessly without any drawing skill whatsoever, which is what I love. All right, for this portion, I'm just going to do, use the same method and just use a normal pressure, downwards pressure with my pencil and just going to trace the a nice quote here. All right, now once you're done and you're happy with your, you've traced your design, we're just gonna remove the paper and the carbon paper. And you're gonna see the transfer, the design transferred over to your canvas, which is really neat. Remove the tape here. Okay, ready for the reveal. And voila. And as you can see here with this method, it's really dark and you can see where the design is and it's gonna make it so much more easier now to paint this in. And even with the quote here, um, we have that here perfectly as well. So it just makes transferring over your design using a printable or a printout, it just makes it much more easier and more enjoyable to paint in your picture. So a second way you can transfer over your printable stencil over onto canvas or canvas paper and you don't have graphite access to graphite paper is actually just using your printable stencil and also uh, just a simple pencil. So to do this method, what you're going to do is you're going to flip over your paper to the other side and you're just going to use your, your the, 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 the pencil to color in over your design. So we're, again, we're flipping over to the back of the design, and then we're just gonna color over the design with our pencil. And you just use any normal pencil. This is not a special carbon pencil. This is just a normal drawing pencil I have. And you just wanna color over your design. And basically, basically this is gonna act like a carbon transfer, um, although it's not gonna show up as dark as our carbon transfer method. So it can be a little bit trickier if um, you really need to see the lines and it's harder for you to see. Then this method might be a little bit trickier to use, but it often does the trick enough for you to see what you need to paint in. And here, um, I like to use a little bit heavier pressure. I, I wanna get as much of this pencil down on my paper. So uh, the darker it is, the darker it's gonna transfer over on our canvas. 
Now I like this method because um, you don't have to buy anything extra and uh, buy that graphite paper. And all you need is a printer for your printout and a simple pencil, which is always nice to make things much simpler. You can also use this transfer method on other surfaces other than canvas. I've seen people use this on wood, wood panels. So if, you, if you're um, creating some nice quote art, you can print out that quote on paper and then use this method here to transfer that quote over onto your wood panel or your canvas. Really the sky is the limit here. I've actually used this method too on a mug. I was creating a Sharpie mug for Father's Day one year and I wanted to get the quote, uh, um, a quote on the mug and so what I did was I printed it out, a small version of it, so it fit on my mug. And then I used this method to see if it would work. And it actually did. It was very light. It wasn't really dark, but it did the trick. So it even worked on ceramic for myself. So I'm pretty sure it would work on different, other different surfaces as well. So you just want to make sure you have your pencil on all parts of the design that you want to transfer over to your surface. It does kind of hurt your hand sometimes because it's so you can just take a break and shake it out. Gives your arm a nice workout for sure. Okay, so the sunflower is good. Now what I'm going to do is my, my pencil is not looking as sharp, so I'm just going to go and sharpen it. Just going to make it easier to get a nice thick layer of that onto our paper. There we go. And I'm going to basically trans, I'm going to uh, color over my quote. Now I don't have to color, make sure I, I get it perfectly on the, uh, the quote. I'm just going to go and do a rough rough coloring in there just to make it go faster. If I do that, the quote below will have that pencil over it. There we go. So you can always give it a couple, uh, you can go over it again if you want to make sure there's enough of that pencil on your, to transfer over. And when you're happy with that, we're gonna put our pencil down and we're gonna flip it back over. And we're gonna do the same thing we did in our graphite paper method where we're going to tape our uh, stencil down onto our surface to make sure it doesn't slide around on us. So I'm just gonna take some tape and I'm gonna center it where I want this design to go on my surface. So if it's there, I'm just going to put down a couple of pieces of tape. I'll put in one more for good measure. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna use the same um, step we did before in the graphite uh, method, and we're just gonna trace over our design. And basically that's going to uh, transfer over our pencil coloring we did on the backside over to our surface. So what I like to do is I like to start with the center of my design here, but you can start wherever you want. It just makes it easier for me to know where I've traced in already. And so I don't have to go over it again a second time. And then I'm going to start at the top left over here and work my way around the sunflower. And another thing to mention here is you want to apply a really um, a much heavier pressure down on your pencil when you when you trace this in heavier than you did in the graphite paper method and because the heavier you, heavier you press down on your pencil the more of the pencil coloring behind is going to transfer over onto your your canvas and it's just going to make it easier to see those lines. So you want to use a little bit heavier pressure down when tracing here. All right, so the sunflower portion is done. Now I'm going to sharpen my pencil again, just so have a nice sharp edge to work with. And I'm going to continue over to the quote. 
And remember with the this method here, we want to apply a heavy downward pressure down with our pencil. So more of that coloring, pencil coloring behind is going to be transferred over to our sketch, or sorry, to our surface. All right. So when you're done, we're just going to take off the tape and then we're going to reveal our design below. Oops, another piece of tape there. So, so now let's compare both of the methods. The method on the, the left, we use the graphite paper to transfer over our drawing. And as you can see here, it's really nice and dark and we didn't have to use too much downward pressure with our pencil to get a really easy design. And the method on the right, we used our printout with, and we just colored on the back of it with simple pencil and it transferred over really nicely as well. Um, but as you can see here, it is not as dark than we're using the, the graphite paper method. Now the pros and cons of both. Um, so the method on the left, the benefit of this is it's really easy to transfer over a drawing um, with minimal effort. You just have to basically use a very normal pressure with your, your pencil downward pressure um, and this can work really nicely if you especially if you're working on a really intricate design that you're transferring over or a really big design um, if it's if you're if you're using this method here often um, your hand will start to cramp up um, if you're doing a really big design um, the drawback of using this method is of course you do have to buy the graphite paper um, it is pretty inexpensive but it is still another thing to buy now the pro of um, using the method on the right, which we used um, just our pencil on the printout, is you don't have to buy anything. Um, it's pretty much free, except for the printed out paper that you have to print out. Um, and then the drawback of this method is you have to use a pretty heavy downward pressure to, to transfer over that design to make sure it's dark enough to see. Um, and if you, especially if you're working with a really big design and that's something that's really intricate, you might have to take a lot of breaks because I find when I'm using this method, my hand cramps up quite a bit um, after a while. So those are the two methods here. Now again, you can use both of these methods to transfer over any picture you have by printing it out on paper, then using one of the two methods shown in this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and give one or both of these methods a try for your next painting.